All right, uh, next one here. Uh, you, you for sure have heard of this thing before. It is, of course, the famous YouTube channel, Chilled Cow. Mm. Chilled Cow, responsible for the girl that's studying. It's a whole community. It's this in incredible uh, chill music. I mean, what? Chill hop, whatever. Yes. Whatever you want to call it. Yes. It's this relaxing kind of, you put it on in the background type of thing. And it, of course, also, as I mentioned, it, cr it, cr it cultivated an entire community of people around this this one channel and in this comment section because it was this ongoing live stream of this chilled music. Mm -hmm. Chilled. And now cow. there's so many other alternatives. Yeah, and it spawned off a lot. Yeah. I don't know if it was the original, but it's just everybody knows it. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, man. I've been in coffee shops. It's just chilled cow on a TV. It's like a... It had a real cultural... It carved out... Yeah. It's a little impact. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know to what extent. Anyway... Probably if you're watching this, you've seen this, you've, you've, everyone here has had it on at one time or another. Chilled Cow went down recently. Hmm. Went, it went, it got pulled. YouTube shut the channel down. Oh. And there's a lot of RIPs and a lot of, you know, people were missing not just the music, but their community. Because people would hop on there and act like it was a study group. That's why she's studying. Uh -huh. They're studying. It's a vibe, for sure. There you go. You're familiar. So it went down for a bit, and what ended up happening, and this is The Verge who noticed this, is that because the stream went down, it finally accumulated everything that existed there in a finished video format, which is what happens after a live event ends. And so after it went down, the, the, I guess the thing was sitting there as a 13,000-hour long video, making it one of the... Longest videos in YouTube history. 13,165 minutes, or 13,165 minutes, yeah. 13,000 hours, 165 minutes, does that make sense? I don't know, over 13,000 hours. And it had amassed 218 million views. Mm -hmm. So you, you get an idea of the scope and popularity and the cultural impact of the thing when you see the numbers like that because on a live stream, you don't see that, right? You only see how many are watching right now. Uh -huh. And on Chilled Cow, it could be anywhere from 10,000, right. I don't know, something in there. Anyway, less than a day after it goes down, YouTube is YouTube says, oops, we made a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't have gone down. Should have stayed up. They had a little communication with the channel, the person who r runs the channel, and they put it back up. So the, the live stream, I don't know if it's back yet, but it's uh, apparently coming back very soon. It's not the first time there was a dispute on the channel. Apparently the original artwork had caused problems. The original study girl, uh. it was Studio Ghibli's <clears throat> Whisper of the Heart. Oh. It was the original GIF that caused the problems. Okay, yeah, she's back. Lo-fi hip-hop radio beats to relax slash study to. And it's hot right now because it went down for a bit. People, I, I'm, I'm going to miss that. 40,000 concurrent right now and the chat's happening. And the study girl's back to writing and the cat's on the windowsill. Mm. And meanwhile, the guy's advertising everywhere else you can listen, like Spotify and SoundCloud, everything in the bottom left corner of the video stream in case this happens again. <laughs> Give you somewhere else to go. So YouTube says it made a mistake, but of course it does. There is a question here, a conversation piece about the concept around these types of channels and the fact that they are a hub for content that doesn't necessarily belong. The, the, the rights holder is not necessarily the person publishing it. And it gets into this gray, gray area, like a lot of things on YouTube, over over how YouTube should treat this type of channel. Because this, this guy doesn't own the music that shows up on there, but he has permission. But does he have a physical license for each song that ever plays? No, it, it could be more of a handshake. I mean, we've used music on the channel. I, I For sure, I've had this exact experience. I, you use some music on Unbox Therapy, you have permission. But then some sample in the music gets picked up by some label and it's the whole thing gets shut down. 
It's always some type of, it's just hard to manage this amount of content. I know people get mad at YouTube, and fine, yeah, they're huge. They, you want them to figure it out, figure out a way, but my God, it's just a tough, it's a tough thing to, to do. It's a tough thing to do that, that everybody is happy with, that the, the labels are happy with and the creators of the music. And, I mean, at the end of the day, Will, people, they just want to listen to their chill, chilled cow. Mm-hmm. Just want to throw on some chilled cow. Mm-hmm. And, but I remember when I first popped it on, I thought to myself, okay, what's weird about this particular thing is that I just think of it as chilled cow. I don't think of it as any artist that's on that channel, ever. Uh-huh. Like, I never look at the artist's name. It's just on in the background. And if someone said, what are you listening to? I'd be like, chill, Cap. Yeah. It's kind of like a, an experience. But it becomes bigger than the artist. Yes. And so you do wonder about that exchange. It relies on these artists. Mm-hmm. I understand it gives them credit. But it, weirdly, it's bigger than the artist at the same time. Uh-huh. But I guess what was a radio station ever? You know, in the prime time. Or what was MTV in the prime time? What are you watching? MTV. Did you say the actual video? Or maybe you just said MTV. I don't know. I'm not trying to take anything away from anybody. I think he's probably, Chilled Cow's probably given plenty of exposure to people that weren't being heard. Right. Because there's so much music and so many producers out there now. But I'm just saying it's an interesting concept. If Chilled Cow goes down, I don't think, man, I lost all those artists. I think I lost Chilled Cow. Right. It's a unified entity of some yes. sort. Yes, yes. It's its own culture. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Anyway, it's back now. Uh, I guess they'll continue to operate in this particular zone, and you just hope that they're able to navigate it in a way that works for everyone. I, obviously, the audience loves it. They don't want to see it go. The artists, it would appear, are fully on board and happy about it. Of course, the producer is happy to keep putting it out there, so what do we need to figure out? It's just YouTube needs to figure out how to govern it and not shut it down. <laughs> so long, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. The guy has permission to play the music that's on there. and I assume that he does. 